SPACs, Churchill Capital, Lucid Air, Lucid Motors, Elon Musk giving a discount, FOMO, you gotta invest, this is gonna skyrocket, another merger, a new Tesla, you know, all of these news are bombing the internet. Everything, everybody and everyone are speaking about the potential new merger between the Lucy Motors and a SPAC called Churcher Capital. I get a fuzzy feeling in my mind with being bombarded with all this news, so I decided to record this video to make it a bit clearer, hopefully for you, just like for myself as well. But before we go into that, I decided to put this beautiful commercial of the Lucid Motors la latest car called Lucid Air. And I also wanted to make sure that you hit that like button, smash it up, because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Commercial coming up. The future. It's impossible to see. And when it's finally here, it might not be what you'd expect. It might just be better. Introducing Luxury Electric. Introducing Lucid Air. Okay, so it truly is a beautiful car. And I wish, you know, in the back of my mind that potentially one day I can afford that car, buy that car and drive it because I really do like it. But just because a company has a beautiful car, it doesn't mean that right now we have the opportunity to invest in it. Now, consider this, this is a privately held company and in order to invest in privately held companies, you gotta be the accredited investor in the United States. That means that you gotta have an uh, annual income of at least $100,000. I think something like that, I'm not sure the exact numbers. But obviously, uh, probably, I'm not saying that some of you are not, but probably most of you guys are not, just like me, I'm not accredited investor. Now, listen, if I were to be a credit investor, I had to be in at the right place at the right time for somebody to ask me, hey Ivan, would you like to invest in Lucid Motors? And then I, I, could, for, I could fork out some money and be part of the, their series of investments that brought them to the point where they're looking to make initial public offering. Now, we covered the Lucid Motors part. Now, we are not investing in the Lucid Motors. What we can do right now is invest in a SPAC that can potentially merge with Lucid Motors and hence bring that company public via reverse merger. That's what SPACs are all about. To remind you, SPAC is nothing. It's an empty check company, basically a huge pile of cash, and you're bet when you're investing in a SPAC, you're betting on a management team. There's nothing else. So you're betting on a guy and on a management team of that SPAC that can potentially bring some cool company public. So let's recap really quickly. SPACs usually start at $10 and uh, traded at $10. It's empty check company. They're bringing zero value to the public. They're not, they have no business. They're just looking to uh, find a company, a target company, and then merge with, that, uh, merge with that company and basically acquiring a portion of those shares of that now new, newly publicly traded company and eventually use that company business to bring value to the marketplace, hopefully for the shareholders, uh, and with that, with building value, making profit, making cash flow, etc., etc., eventually new people would buy to in that newly traded company, hence bringing those shares up. So that's the whole point of SPACs. So before the SPAC announces a target company, you're betting on the management team. Remember that. It's just empty pile of cash, but big pile of cash. In, in current, currently, what we are talking about, uh, we are talking about Churchill Capital. Second biggest uh, SPAC ever. The first one is Pershing Square Tontin Holdings, and I did one of the videos for the Pershing Square Tontin Holdings owned by the Bill Ackman. So that SPAC is big as four to seven billion dollars. This is the second biggest one. So let's check out the week uh, prior to this week, me recording this video, what happened with this pack and with its trading uh, and the price it's traded at, okay? So last week, Churchill Capital Corporation number four, which is this pack, this pack numbers, pack name, just started just like any normal other pack. They usually started $10 a share and it traded at 10, 
all the way until Bloomberg dropped, uh, dropped the bombshell saying that there is a potential merger between the Churchill Capital and the Lucy Motors. That news skyrocketed the stock all the way up, uh, I think that was like 80%, almost doubling the money, right? Because it went from $10 a share to $18 a share. And now, at this moment on January 22nd, it's being traded at a roughly $17 to $18 range. A lot of people are also saying that they're a new Tesla. So obviously Elon Musk got a, got a bit scared as well. That's why it doesn't surprise me when I saw the Elon Musk's tweet about reducing the Tesla Model S price just below the Lucid Motors Lucid Air model to $69,400, where when Lucid Motors is just around the $70,000 mark. But as we are not here to talk about the Tesla valuation and, rich, and Elon Musk being the richest person in the world, so strange, right? <laughs> uh, I'm here to share my opinion whether you should or should not invest, that's just my opinion by the way, in this SPAC and what, what, the, what the risks are assigned with that investment. So let's dig into this. Now, as we said before, investing in a SPAC is basically a gamble. As because you don't have a company and you're not able to read the income sheet, the balance sheet, you're, you don't have any, you're, this company is not providing any value to nobody, it's just a pile of cash. The only thing you can bet on and find the breadcrumbs and clues is basically from the management team. So the first thing we need to do is take a look at the management team. So let's go do this. The management team of the Churchill Capital is actually very, very strong. And it got me thinking, it's basically the second largest SPAC ever. So naturally, what, what I start thinking when I see a lot of people and this huge pile of cash at one place, you know, accumulated, I think that a lot of smart people, a lot of rich people, which is kind of associated, associated in my head, where money goes, there has to be smart people. Those people probably know what they're doing because they're risking so much more than I, I, I'm planning to risk. Obviously, when you know, when I see, when I saw the uh, or right or really O'Leary from the Shark Tank investing in Pershing Square Tantin Holdings over 400 million, I believe, I was like, okay, and I like my 30k is nothing basically. So if he can invest, if he trusts Bill Ackman, and if other people are trusting Bill Ackman, who am I not to trust? So. Having this kind of thinking, got, uh, you know, I think this pack is also going to be huge because a lot of smart people, a lot of wealthy people are putting a lot of money in this pack, uh, believing that they, it will increase the increase its value, right? That they, they will have a great merger and the capital will just skyrocket. They will maybe quadruple, double, triple, whatever. That's that's what's my opinion. So let's take a look in the tiniest detail who is in the management, management board of the Churchill Capital SPAC. In order to do so, I'm going to bring up the article for, from Matli Fu and I'm going to read it up, only the important parts for this video. Okay, I found it. In this case, many investors have noticed that Andrew Leveris, I'm sorry for butchering your name, Andrew, sits on Lucid's board of directors and it's part of Churchill Capital's operating team. So there's a guy who is sitting on a Lucid Motors board of directors. So he has something to say. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing people are listening. And also, he's part from Churchill Capital's this pack operating team. So that's a clue, a breadcrumb, I would call it. Other prominent members of the Churchill Capital's teams include Apple's Johnny Ive, hi Johnny, I missed you, Silicon Valley Ventures Capital Sam Altman, and former Ford SEO Alan Mulelli. I'm sorry for butchering your name, Alan. Uh, capital is led by Michael Klein, a Wall Street veteran that used to run Citigroup's Capital Markets Division. Okay, that's in my opinion a pretty strong uh, management team, right? Uh, let's move forward. Klein has also served as, as an advisor to Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund known as its public investment fund. The short would be PIF. After Lucid's closed, its Series D funding, that's the funding that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, where you got to be a credit investor and you got to be at the right time, at the right place for somebody to ask you, hey man, would you like to invest something in it? Funding round in 2017, the company secured over a billion dollars investment from the PIF. Remember, 
Uh, Klein has also served as the advisor to Sa Saudi Arabia Well Fund. Okay, so that's a brand crump, uh, which was used to fund the hefty capital expenditures related to building a car, car factory for the Lucian Motors with two billion cash uh, with two two billion dollars in cash currently. Churchill Capital is one of the few SPACs that would be large enough to take Lucid public through a merger. Considering the sheer capital intensity of the industry in which Lucid operates. Okay, I think that says a lot of information. So, based on the information I just shared with you, the merger between the Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors can really happen. It's rarely likely for it to happen because you have people on both sides being same people. You have people who are invested in his PAC being on the board of directors of the Lucid Motors. So naturally, you want them to merge because PAC is so hyped up and it will probably skyrocket the share, hence ma making a lot of money for those people. Right? So I think that merger can happen. But before you do invest your hard-earned money, please consider the risks. Now, looking at the price of the Churchill Capital right now, it's already uh, you would buy it on a very much on a premium because it's trading at around eighteen dollars, just like I shared previously in the video. So that means that all, it it already doubled, with almost doubled basically. Because if you bought it uh, a week ago, you would you would buy a share of a stock at ten dollars. Now it's eighteen, so eighty percent returns, which is almost doubling the price of a share. So if something happens and this merger fails, you you risk to lose all of the capital, like at least 50% of your capital, that's what you're risking to lose. And that's a lot of money, depends on how much you're planning to invest. But you gotta be aware of those risks. Now, what can happen is basically, they can find some other company to merge with, and then if you do not like a company, you always can get your money back at a $10 a share price. So if you're buying at 18, you can get it back, uh, you can get it back at 10, you're just getting portion of it like 40% discount and that's the money you're getting back if you don't like a company they're planning to merge with if the merger with Lucid fails. So be aware of those because I'm not saying you should buy, I'm not saying you should not buy, I'm just saying that there is risk associated with every investment in the stock market. Even, even this investment which is followed with a lot of hype and probably can succeed, you know, it can succeed, it doesn't have to, a lot of things can happen. We had Corona in March, nobody knew it's gonna happen, but it happened. So with that being said, prior for you leaving and stopping this video, make sure to click that like button. It really does help me with the YouTube algorithm to bring this video to as la a lot of people possible. Maybe this video will help those people to make a decision, invest in its stock, and then that can bring stock up as well. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, thank you very much for watching this video until the end and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.